Hello everyone, I am here today to talk watercolours. So this is um, a kind of new area for me. I haven't really used watercolours before and it's something that I want to get into more. So I have picked up some different kinds of watercolours and I'll talk you through what I've got uh, here. So this is a combination of things from Hobbycraft and some things that I got from Amazon. So I'll start off with the things that I got from Amazon. So here, so this set of six different kinds of aqua brush. So you all know how aqua brushes work. You fill up the reservoir here and then when you are painting, it comes out here. So there are six different size of nib. The ones with the green uh, nib are slightly thinner and then they get thicker and thicker. And then these ones with the white lid here are the thickest ones. And then I picked up this set so it's, um, I apologise for my pronunciation, uh, but this set of Kuritaki starry coloured paints. Now, this is what they look like and they are absolutely gorgeous. So I went on a calligraphy course with Jenny from Stitch and Weave and the lady on the course had some of these uh, available for us to use and we used them for um, making like a wash on the paper before we did the calligraphy and I actually used some of the paint I sort of put a little bit of water in and I was actually able to use the uh, watercolor to use as an ink if you understand what I mean um, I'm not explaining myself very well am I but the colors of this kit are absolutely gorgeous so six different kinds of gold as you can see and when you paint with them they come in the most beautiful glittery gold they are absolutely beautiful so i picked these up from um, amazon and i will link in the description below to this paint set and to the aqua brush set so i'll just show you what they look like so obviously depending on the amount of water that you put in it sort of varies uh, the color but you can get a really lovely shimmery effect on the paints and depending on which color you want to do you can see there the red gold is my favorite one because you can see it gives you a really lovely shimmery effect the white gold but obviously painting on white you're not really going to get a sense of what it looks like this is the champagne gold again you can sort of see a bit of a difference in the color but the red gold is absolutely lovely so those were the Kuritaki paints that I picked up. Then from Hobbycraft, so I picked up some of these bound paper packs because I didn't have any paper that was good enough to use watercolours on. All I had was like, you know, normal paper and obviously it can't withstand uh, the watercolour. So I picked up some of those and then I picked up some of these Artist Loft sets. So this is an Artist Loft pearlescent watercolour pan set. This is what it looks like inside. 28 different colours here. They've all got like a pearlescent sheen to them. So let's just pick one at random. This is a pink colour. And so it's just the sort of opaque coloured. And obviously depending on how much you know water you've got in, you're going to get a different colour pink. Uh, but isn't that pretty? And then just a red there. So I thought this was a really great little pack uh, for someone who is not very confident with watercolours and obviously very pretty as well. So I picked that pack up and a lot of people I know uh, say that the Artist Loft products are really good. And then the other thing that I picked up was this set of 36 different colours, uh, again of watercolour. And I just thought that this would be great, some purple on there. So it's just you basic watercolour but I just thought that set of 36 different colours uh, would be fantastic for me and then the last thing that I picked up was this set of gouache paints so again they are the Artist Loft brand and it comes in this set of 12 different colours and I just thought this would be a good starting point for me um, for working with different kinds of media. I've never worked with a gouache paint before so 
from what I can read, it's like a combination between an acrylic and a watercolour, but you get more of a, like a chalky finish. I think that's right. Please feel free to correct me if I am wrong. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm trying to create here. This colour here is called Cerulean. And I love the difference that you get with the gouache paint because it gives you, you know, you can control it. You can get a much thicker, thinner, depending obviously on if I want to use the water in my aqua brush. Um, so I picked up that set because I thought that, that, again, this would be a really good starting point for me. I'm just going to cover my page with Cerulean now. <laughs> As I say, there were 12 different colours and they were really nice colours. I really like this one here. Viridian. So just a few bits and pieces there that I've picked up so that I can start to do more watercolours. I hope that you found this interesting. I will leave in the description below links to all of the products here uh, from Amazon and from Hobbycraft. I would love to hear any recommendations that you've got for beginners watercolours, any products that you think would help someone who doesn't know an awful lot about watercolours. I'm going to sign off here and I'm going to go onto YouTube and I'm going to search for different videos uh, for beginners who want to get into watercolours. Thank you so much for watching as ever, I appreciate you all and I will see you all really soon. Bye!